One, voltage, current, resistance, and power. A quick revision of what you've already learned. A quick revision on current, the conventional current, based on the concept that current is due to the flow of positive particles, positive charges that come out of the positive terminal of the battery and into the negative terminal of the battery. Inside the wire, as shown here, there are few lines indicating the direction of the flow of positive charges, charge and current. Electric charge has a symbol small q or capital Q and the unit is Coulomb. Current is the rate at which charge passes a point. It is symbolized by capital I and measured in amps. And the formula connecting charge and current is this one here. I, which is current, equal to Q, which is charge, divided by time. And here is a simple example showing you how the formula works. Voltage, or PD, potential difference, measure the work done or the change in energy, delta E, on each coulomb of charge as the charge moves between two points. The formula is based on the description here, V equal to change in energy divided by charge. A rearranged formula like this. The voltage between two points A and B, A and B, distance D apart, here's a D, in a little field E, these few lines here, is V equal to ED. And here's an example to illustrate. Resistance. All conductors have resistance. The current in the conductor is inversely proportional to the resistance. That means if the current is halved, then the resistance is doubled and vice versa. The current in the conductor depends on its resistance and the voltage applied across it. As expressed by this Ohm's law that you're all familiar with, V equal to IR. And here's a simple example showing you how the formula works. In a series circuit, Current is the same everywhere. Voltage is divided up by the components. Each bulb gets three volts. And the total resistance is simply the summation of the individual resistances. 1.5, 1.5, the total resistance will be 3 ohms. In a parallel circuit, each branch gets full amount of voltage from the battery. 6 volts. 6 volts here as well regardless of the resistance. The current from the battery is split. And this branch gets more current because it has less resistance. And to work out the overall resistance of a parallel circuit, you use this formula here. Go through this example yourself and check your answers on the next slide. Here are the answers in detail. Power is the rate at which energy is transformed or transferred per second. And the formula for power is P equal to VI, voltage times current. And here is a simple example to illustrate. 